Suppose you have a large bicycle tire that has a radius of 1 meter. If you roll this tire up against a vertical surface like a wall, what is the largest sized wheel you could fit between the wall and the tire like this? Pause now to give this problem a shot. We can start by forming a square with sides equal to the radius of the tire. And we're looking for the largest circle that'll fit between the tire and the corner of the square. We'll measure the size of the circle by its radius, r. Now let's find the diagonal of this whole square. Since that forms a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem with the diagonal, or the hypotenuse, as c. If we plug in the legs of the triangle for a and b, then solve, we get c equals the square root of 2. So the diagonal of this square is the square root of 2. Now let's break this diagonal into parts and identify each part separately. We know the radius of the large tire is 1 meter, which already makes up a large part of the diagonal. Then the radius of the small circle makes up a little bit more. For the remaining part, we can think of it as another smaller square, of which we can find the diagonal by again using the Pythagorean theorem. We've already used C for the main diagonal, so let's call this one D. If we plug in the legs for A and B, then solve, we get D equals R times the square root of 2. So that's the length of the small diagonal. And the main diagonal is the square root of 2, which is also the sum of its smaller parts. And they are the radius of the large tire, 1 meter, plus the radius of the small circle, r, plus the small diagonal, which we figured out was r times the square root of 2. That gives us an equation with one variable. If we solve for r, then we know the radius of the small circle. First, we can subtract 1 from both sides, then factor out the r from both terms on the right. Now we can divide by 1 plus root 2 and rearrange the terms. At this point, we've already solved for r, but we can simplify this and make it prettier by rationalizing the denominator. Multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by the conjugate of the denominator, root 2 minus 1. That's the same expression as the numerator, so we can write that as root 2 minus 1 squared. On the bottom, we can multiply by foiling. The first terms, root 2 times root 2, equal root 4, which is just 2. Root 2 times 1 is root 2. And negative 1 times root 2 is negative root 2. These two terms are opposites, so they can cancel each other out. And then negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, so the denominator is 1. Now let's square the remaining expression, again by foiling. Root 2 times root 2 equals 2. Root 2 times negative 1 is negative root 2. And negative 1 times root 2 is the same thing. So that's two negative root 2s. The last terms, negative 1 times negative 1 equal positive 1. Combine like terms, and we get r equals 3 minus 2 times the square root of 2. This is the exact radius of the largest wheel that'll fit between a wall and a tire with a 1 meter radius. It comes out to approximately 0 0.172 meters. You can use this no matter how big or small the tire, whatever the units, even if it's not exactly 1, by simply multiplying its radius by 0.172. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, Please subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you for watching.